Streeters. Welcome to the RDRV channel where we teach, share, and hope we inspire you to learn all about glass. Today we're in week three of how to make stained glass easy. We sure are, Barb. And this week when we go into the studio, we're going to be copper foiling. And we're also going to take a grinder right out of the box, brand new, and show you how to set it up. At the end of the show, Ed's got an old timer's tip that you've probably never heard before. So stay tuned, we'll be back. Are you ready to go in the studio and start working? Hey Barb, let's go to work. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. Hi everybody, we're back in the studio now. And as promised, we just took this grinder out of the box. A great thing about this grinder so that you don't burn it up is it comes with a fuse right here. It fits right in here. It's in a waterproof compartment and you're all set for that. This top here removes. This is your work surface. Inside here, your reservoir, your water reservoir is about three quarters of an inch deep. Now what's gonna happen while you're using your grinder here is that the glass dust of course is wet so the glass dust is going to sink to the bottom and it's going to make like a slur and that slur when it's wet it's okay but you don't want to clean the slur out of the bottom of your grinder while it's just stark dry because it produces glass dust and glass dust is harmful to your lung this reservoir holds water we're going to take our work surface we're going to put it back on top of our reservoir and snap it in. Next, this is our bit that comes with our grinder. This is our grinder bit. And I want you to see, and I want you to take note of this and just remember it in the back of your mind, that little Allen screw right there. And then I also want you to see you have three quarters of an inch of diamond on the wheel to work with. The grinder also comes with the Allen wrench that fits this set screw, okay? So one of my little tips for you today, and this is just one, remember, this is three quarters of an inch down. The stained glass that you use is one eighth of an inch thick. If you wanna do it this way, six eighths is three quarters. So you can slide this bit down six individual times before you have to change it out. Now these bits are about $35, but we're gonna set it and we're gonna set it right there just so that the diamonds, so that the diamonds are just, I mean just, below the work surface. And where that puts your set screw in the top of your grinder bit is right on the tip of the shaft, right there, just like that. So now we have, we're gonna use one eighth of an inch of this diamond impregnated bit here. So your grinder bit will slide down five more times in increments of one eight. Now your grinder comes with sponges and these sponges fit right in here. This is a reservoir that picks up as the grinder spins, picks up the water and runs it up the shaft. The sponge keeps the diamonds clean and wiped clean of du glass dust. If you don't have enough water in here, you're gonna end up with a lot of glass dust and you're gonna go through $34 bits like crazy and you don't wanna do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a sponge to fit in here and that sponge goes all the way down to the bottom of your reservoir and we're gonna cut it off right there, just like that. This is just our guard and what that does is it keeps the water from splashing up that way behind this and forms a little dam. These little rubber things here the neatest thing they ever invented. This keeps keeps you in check. This this gets pushed down here. And these, look at that guys. This is this grinder, they pretty much thought of everything for you. 
and we'll push that down. Now you can use this grinder and these push right out of the way. See that? They push right out of the way. And what, they're, what they do again is they, they just keep the water from splashing everywhere. So another tip for your grinder is a quarter of a cap, just a, a small bit of antifreeze inside your reservoir when you fill it up will keep those diamonds nice and cool. Antifreeze is what they use on the big beveling machines and they keep those diamond wheels cool. So you can imagine what it'll do for this. So just a little bit and then don't, don't forget, clean your reservoir out. You don't have to clean it out every day, but you should clean it out every three or four times that you use your grinder. It just makes it easier. When the glass dust sets up, it becomes almost like cement. And then you've got to chisel at, not chisel at it, but you know, you want to be careful. It's, it's a plastic reservoir, so you want to keep it clean. And it comes with the Allen wrench. So what I like to do with this Allen wrench is I, I'm probably going to just tape it right here to the side of my grinder so that I don't lose it. You'll find that it's not a standard Allen wrench, I'm sure. You can go to our website. It'll take you, boom, to Amazon and you can, boom, buy it. And you're going to love this little grinder. Doesn't take up a lot of room. And I have some large grinders in the studio here. This one, I told Barb, <laughs> I'm keeping it. You should probably have all of your glass cut out by now. Your patterns were done last week. We've marked our glass. We've cut out all of our glass and now it's time to foil. So we've talked a little bit about the grinder. I think everybody knows how to use their grinder. I just felt the maintenance on it was necessary. So as you can see, I have my foil caddy right here in front of me. This, I don't, need, I don't know what's going on here. I think it's having a bad hair day. So I'm gonna pull out some 732nd foil and we're gonna just peel this back a little bit. So we're gonna peel that back and you can see we're using the black back copper foil, the 732nd. So remember, when we're copper foiling our glass, we've got it wrapped all the way around and now we're gonna come over about a quarter of an inch. We're gonna leave that quarter of an inch hanging loose right there, just like that. We're gonna take it and fold it over. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fid, we're gonna pull the corners into us. Don't push them away. Pull it into us. And now we're gonna take the edges and we're doing what's called burnishing. Just show you a little, a little trick. And it, some, it's, it's inevitable, sometimes it's gonna happen sometimes, okay? So I keep an X-Acto knife here at my bench and you can see that piece of foil where it's hanging out a little bit too much? I'm just gonna take this X-Acto knife and pull it like that. And so what I've done is I've trimmed that foil up so that it looks just like the rest of it. Anywhere that foil is, when you solder, you're gonna have solder. So stay tuned, we're going into the gallery and I've got an old timer's tip coming up for you. We'll be right back. Wow, Barb, that was fun in the studio, learning all about that grinder. Yes. Yeah, and they're very easy to maintain, so just remember to do it. If you do that, you know, you're in good shape. So uh, stay tuned for our old timers tip of the week coming up. Tell us that old timers tip, then. Okay, so remember I told everybody when we were talking about the grinder to yes. please ah. focus on that little set screw or the Allen screw. Tape that, it on the side of the machine so you don't lose it. That's one thing. That's <laughs> one thing. You want to tape that the, the wrench itself to the side of your grinder. The Allen screw that that wrench works that holds the grinder head to the shaft will seize up because of the glass dust eventually and you'll, you will not get it off of there. So my old timers tip of the week is Undo that screw, take some Phillips Milk of Magnesia. Yeah. Ask your grandmother. What Ask it your is. grandma what it is. It's she might have some in the medicine. It's for your, it'll make your liver quiver. <laughs> but uh, so I know it sounds funny, <laughs> but y'all, 
you put that Phillips Milk of Magnesia around the threads and on that and then screw it in and tighten it up. Next time you go to back that screw out of there, you won't have any trouble at all. And I promise you that. Phillips Milk of Magnesia is quite the release agent. It's an anti-seize. It's an anti-seize. it's good for constipation too. That's right. It'll help you in that area and your grinding area. So we'll see you again next week here at the RDRV channel. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.